Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. In this last lesson in the series, we're going to look at how to share your Sibelius files with other people. Now obviously if they've got Sibelius 6 like you, you can just email the file to them. But if they've got an older version of Sibelius, you need to go to File, Export and choose Sibelius 2 through 5. Once you've chosen that, a Save dialog will come up and you can actually specify which exact version because there are different features available in each version. Now, if they don't have a copy of Sibelius, you've got a few options open to you still. First one is to go and tell them to get a copy, of course. But you can go File, Export, Scorch web page. A Scorch web page is great because they can open it free of charge, they can print it out to the same quality as Sibelius, and even play it back. Above that in this menu is Graphics. You can actually go and export graphics files, one graphics file for each page, which can be opened in ju on just about any computer and printed out. If you've got a print as PDF option as well, that's better because you can get multiple pages into one file. Now, if you've worked a lot of time on your recording, like the one I've got playing back right now, and you're proud of it, you might like to actually share the recording rather than the actual printed score. So in that case, you can click this print this export audio button. Choose the folder where you want to save it to, and I'll actually go through this process so you can see a file really being made. And then name the file click OK and Sibelius will export it in just a matter of seconds. Let's go and have a look at that file. If we hide Sibelius, I'll open the folder, you'll see that the file that's actually uh, been saved is an AFE file. On a Windows computer, it's a WAV file. Let's listen to it. Now that's full CD quality, so it's great for burning onto a CD. However, it's probably going to be too big because it's uncompressed audio for emailing. So if you want to email it, then you will need to convert it into MP3, which you could do with an audio editing program or even a free program like iTunes. The last solution is for sharing the music that you've made with people who have other music programs, and that's to export a MIDI file. We'll go back into Sibelius and look at how to do that, but it's also worth mentioning even though exporting a MIDI file is a good option for them to be able to open and edit your music, that it won't include phrasing, articulation, dynamics, or any of those really things that are pertinent to scores. So again, it's File, Export, MIDI File. Congratulations on completing my Learn Sibelius in one hour course. If you really enjoyed it, I hope you'll buy my ebook available on Amazon.